Hi, so this is going to be episode two of our Northumbria run. Uh, I'm going to do a brief introduction. If you don't want to see this, I'll put a timestamp in, so just skip straight to uh, straight to the business. Um, a couple of days ago, a day before yesterday, I reached a 1,000 subscribers. It's a bit of a landmark um, for, for me and for YouTubers generally, I think. Um, and for that reason, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to thank people, really. I want to thank everybody that's watched some of the videos, particularly ones that perhaps came back and watched, <laughs> watched at least a second one. Obviously, I want to uh, uh, thank everybody who's subscribed over the last few days and everybody who subscribed since the beginning of the channel because, of course, they've all, they've all added up and they've all helped me to get to where I am. So thanks very, very much for that support. Uh, a couple of people I want to mention specifically. First off, I want to mention everybody that's kind of materially supported the channel one way or another, and they are Devon, uh, Lady and L Turbide, James, Megs, Dave, Tom, Proin, all people who, one way or another, have um, materially supported the, um, the channel. So thanks very much to all of those people. The next group I want to mention are the contributors. Loads and loads of contributors, far too many to mention. Some people have been there making lots of comments I'm not even going to mention because, because th there are so many. Thank you very much if you've been making comments about the videos. But um, special mention really for, for Chris. Chris, I've learned so much from you. You're absolutely fantastic. Um, way better player than me, or at least a much, much more knowledgeable player than me. Um, thank you very much for all the advice and the tips. You've really brought my game on since I began being a CK3 YouTuber. I also, of course, want to thank Elira. Elira is our most prolific commenter. Uh, Elira can be quite blunt sometimes. She, uh, she picks, picks me up on every mistake that I make keeps me on my toes and uh, absolutely think you're a fantastic person for doing that. Thank you very much, Elira. I'm a little bit nervous of Elira and I've gone and named a character after her. Uh, that character is still a baby and is a prisoner with a hostile uh, uh, person. And um, I don't know how I'm going to get her out. So I'm worried about that at the moment. But uh, thanks very much, Elira and Chris, for all your support and help. And um, uh, Somebody who I didn't know that I'd have to thank until a couple of days ago, but I also want to thank Cara from Hey It's Cara. Hey It's Cara being the YouTube channel. Um, Clara, Cara does um, uh, the CK3 videos and she shared uh, one of my videos. And I think that's really what, well, that certainly is what helped to get me over that 1000 mark in uh, in much shorter amount of time than it normally would do. Turns out, having communicated a little bit with her, that Cara's also an absolutely lovely and delightful person. And if you haven't checked out Hey It's Cara, check out Hey It's Cara, because she's way above me in terms of the, the, her kind of uh, a YouTube ability. Wonderful person as well. Very entertaining to watch. And with that, we're going to go straight to Northumbria. See you there. Hello, uh, my name is Martin and this is uh, Stratchat. Uh, we are on episode two of our Northumbria run. A couple of things to say to begin with. I made a bit of a mistake last time. Um, I realised um, after the show, because I was talking about how I should have broken up Halfdan's alliances by murdering the, the various people in marriages, but it's been pointed out um, that, that people don't come out of the war when the alliance is broken by you know, somebody dying perhaps in the, in the marriage, they carry on, they fight the war through. It, it ends the, the alliance for future conflicts, but not for the conflict that you're in. So actually that probably wouldn't have helped me um, for the first thing. But it also, uh, it, it's something, this is what I got from, from, from um, Hey It's Cara, the YouTuber, is, is that that was probably the way to win both, to win at least one of those wars. Because I could have been um, um, uh, in betrothing my, my son over to somebody getting them involved in the war, breaking the betrothal and then forming another, getting a second, a second alliance. And that would have been, that probably would have been the, um, a very, very good way of, of amassing a lot of allies. But anyway, we are where we are. We are Northumbria. Well, we're not Northumbria. We've lost Northumbria and Lancashire. Uh, we've just got this, uh, this one sort of uh, dukedom left. We're not even the duke of it. Um, we got some big problems. We're short of money. We could easily get attacked again. We're very, very vulnerable. Let's see if we can solve some of those problems. Let's get have a closer look. 
Okay, so my big problem, I think, or one of the biggest problems I think that I'm facing is this, uh, minus 1.1. Um, I'm still rebuilding my army, so that situation should improve, hopefully, pretty quickly. But I suspect my lands are very, very ravaged. So we have 81% control here in Edinburgh, which is my capital. That's something at least we can do something about. Increase county control here. Okay. So we won't know until the army's uh, completed what the final situation is, but I can't imagine that we're making more than more than sort of one gold or something like that. It's going to take us a long time to build up a large amount of gold. We're feudal. Gold is our lifeblood. That's the only way we can get buildings. That's the only way that we can get troops. Next thing I'm keen to do is, is form some, uh, get myself some protection. So this chap here is King of Scotland. I can swear fealty to him. He's got 1,800 troops, so he provides a good deal of protection to me, I think. So I'm going to go for low feudal obligations, which is great news. Hopefully, that's going to get accepted. The only problem is if he's at war, he's not at war, so I think that's, that's, that should be a done deal. So thinking ahead uh, from last episode, I'm actually trying to fabricate a hook on him. I think when he's my liege, that hook's going to be very, very useful. I'm also trying to murder Jarl Ivor. Now, there's no game reason particularly for doing this. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. He's a rival, so I'll, I'll, it's, it's, it's good news to, to get rid of your rivals. I, I'm, I'm doing this for pure revenge. Pure revenge. I, I killed the other chap, Halfdan. And I've now got uh, his, uh, his son, Halfdan's son, on the, um, on, on the throne, and no doubt he's going to be a problem. So I'm busy in this department. But there's other things that I want to be able to do. Who am I actually swaying? Right. I certainly don't need to be swaying this chap anymore. Right, I'm going to be getting rid of Ethel Gifu. Okay, right, I'm going to start swaying my bishop. Now, there's a very specific reason for this. There's only 55% chance. Unfortunately, I'm not a particularly charming character. But we could potentially be having church uh, income from the church. So we need to get him supporting us, really. That's really, really important. Right, I could be doing with an additional county. I don't have limited crown authority, but it's relatively cheap, so I can probably get limited crown authority. The thing is, I think at this point, you know, he wouldn't, he pro perhaps wouldn't accept anyway. But I definitely want to be taking one of these two counties back into into my domain at some point. I guess that's something to actually might be worth having a look at their the family situation. Oh, uh, look, I'm his heir, and I'm his heir. Uh, so we all know something that can happen that will make those mine. So we got we got two schemes going on, but after that maybe we'll we'll look at um, look at murdering one of these two counts. Right, let's press go. Speed increase the speed a little bit as well. Right, I can make this promise to Eildhun because he's very unlikely to be alive in ten years. Um, I've got no intention of holding a feast. Right, I think we've got to accept this call to war and then just not go. Love to create the Duchy of Lothian. I'm never going to get an, an alliance with him. And this is my daughter. Right, let's station these guys. Right, these are my strongest troops. So we're going to put them in the best place. And these can go in the second best place. I was sort of thinking that I could possibly kind of do a bit of expansion and stuff. But it's actually almost impossible. Because I, I, I can't attack places like this because it would, t it would cost me uh, piety. And as you can see, I have very, very little piety. At least it's not going down. I suppose, but, but all I can say for it. Why hasn't Scotland replied to me yet? Because I'm at war. Okay. Maybe I should have turned it down. That war won't last forever. Right, so money situation has improved as one regiment is ready. Okay, right, 1.4. Right, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I think the longer term solution to this is that we go into the stewardship we can get a little bit of extra money, but we can also have golden obligations. I think once these, once these the sort of series of murders that I'm considering are over, I think we need to get some hooks on some powerful, wealthy individuals. That's the plan. So 872, so we got the January 872. We've got a couple of years to go. So I can gain studied personality, but it slows everything down. Or I can go for this one, 98% chance. No, 96% chance. I think I can take those that risk. That's going to... 
Yep, studied personality, perfect. Right, 95% chance we kill either. Let's have a look. He's dead. Must have been saying he ate. They can't trace the poison back to me. Okay, right, excellent. And we've also got another perk. So we've already got ourselves to the top of this tree, so I think... I don't think I'm the most attractive character. I don't think it's worth doing that. Let's go Dark Insights. Right, looks like uh, my ally is doing a bit better in his war now. It seems to, the table seems to have turned. Really need you to win that and quick. Right, who do we murder next? So Annandale has a city and a small harbour. This place has more longer term potential. It does have simple pastures. What's the likelihood of killing these people? 66? 66. Right, simply look at who hates me the most at this chap. Okay. I'm a bit disappointed with 66. Maybe we can improve upon that. Right, chance of this murder going ahead now are 69%. Mm. Right, 69 is not terrible. Let's just go for it. This is important. This, this hook is important. Oh, we got a, we got a victory. Excellent. As soon as that's declared, we need to bend the knee to the King of Scotland. Excellent. Good news. Okay. Okay, low feudal obligations. I think money will probably go down a little bit, but not very much. Faction targeting means has been disbanded. That's the benefit of, of joining in there. I've got a council invitation. I want, he wants me to be his spy master. Okay, let's have a little look at that. I get additional dread, hostile scheme power, and success chance, and monthly intrigue lifestyle experience. Okay. So that should have just increased my chance, actually, of achieving these things. Absolutely has done. Fantastic. Right, we're not paying homage to him. I'm kind of conscious that my daughter is still in the hands of Halfdan, Halfdan's son. I suppose I could ransom her. There's no rush to get her back. What I'll do, I think, is I'll, I, it may well be that I end up finding some way of getting her back more sneakily. Oh, wow. So I've just got these additional taxes, thank you to my steward, who's not, a, not incredible. But 75 makes a huge, huge difference. I think if I want to wage some wars, I'm going to need some piety. I mean, this guy's not very powerful. But I don't have any piety. I mean, can I go on a pilgrimage now? It doesn't have to be an expensive pilgrimage. It actually really helped to bring him, not him, bring the bishop on. Right, let's see how much it would cost me to go on a pilgrimage. Okay, 20 is the cheapest. Kent. Extraordinarily dangerous. All right, I've got a, a relatively low quality um, caravan master. Okay, so mercenary guards, forest guide, that gets me there. I really want to do the, the cheap one. This makes travel dangerous. Travel is already dangerous. 87. I can afford 87. Right. Fingers crossed for no terrible results. Off we go. So have a little bit of a reflective moment here. Why am I doing this? Uh, becoming more pious, that's kind of what I'm heading for here. I'd also get a dedicated pilgrim, which 10% of naught might not make much difference. I'm not stressed. But I gain secular pilgrimage. Personal scheme success chance up 15%. That's actually good because I'm working on my bishop at the moment. I think secular pilgrimage has the more overall help. I'll be able to use it to get the bishop to like me more, but I can then use it to get other people to like me more. That's a real nice that's a real nice benefit because it was a yeah, it was nowhere near seventy percent before. By halting a messenger from the court of the king, an opportunity presented itself. By copying the king's seal, I can fabricate a letter threatening increased taxes circulate among his vassals. This is your signature, is it not? I gain interfering with servants. Courting guests, my people won't like me quite so much, but I get a weak hook on the king. I like that. I think let's just get let's just get a weak hook. I've got a spare thing, so what I'm going to do is see if I can find myself a better. Spy master. I mean, Osric, it'd be, be, be fantastic to get this guy to be my spy master. He's only 38. So, what we need on this chap is a hook. Mm. Can't be done on wandering characters. Okay, wandering, wandering. 
I mean, she's quite good. What would be the chance of abducting him? Hmm, not brilliant. I could get this lady. So there's a reasonable chance of getting her. Okay, and I think that will power up my, uh, my attempts to do devious and sneaky things. We don't want to play this game. So if we pay fifteen pounds, we'll gold. We'll 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 be asked to do more. We'll get lots of piety, and the pilgrim will become more pious. And I think it will get us all the way to the top potentially of the pilgrimage um, sort of line thing. All right, I can spend fifteen. I'm gonna have to. I can't afford to keep going. Okay, so we're, in a, we're kettering. Uh, overwhelming sense of peace. It's God's will. So this seems like a pretty good thing to do. I lose stress, gain piety, and the actual pilgrimage becomes more pious. Ten day, ten day delay. It's okay. Can go with that. Ooh, right. Fingers crossed, everyone. That looks good. Okay, possible outcomes. Okay, all positive. That would be nice. <coughs> Actually, especially with the title, 20% uh, for title creation cost. Go for that one. He's dead. Okay, pause there. Or oh, 100%, I intimidate the bandits and lose some stress. I'm happy to go with that one. Right. Right, let's look at the queen. Let's put her back onto manage domain because we've now four of four. Money should be gradually going up. <coughs> yeah, very, very close to completing Edinburgh, then we can go and work on Lanarkshire. Who have we lost? My Chancellor. I don't think he was very good anyway. And this guy despises me. I'm going to put him on domestic affairs for a bit, just see if we can improve this situation a little bit. We've got him on money, not development. That's perfect. Supporting schemes. Um, I've only got one scheme on now at the moment. 20% chance of fabricating a hook on this chap. 100%. Let's do that. He's got 300 gold. I could do with a little bit of that gold. Here we are, we've arrived. Right, C with his swain. Now we're beginning to get money for our church holdings. So let's get him at least all the way up to 50%. I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. This is really, really interesting. I mean, I'm not even appearing on there. But, um, you know, is there a way that I can, I can play this game? I like to think so. I have to look into that. Got too much else going on at the moment to be thinking about that. Now you can go, child. I hear Echunbert mutter when I enter the church. The pilgrim bows before leaving, and I can see the priest's hands glisten with gold. The hand glisten with gold. Ah, dear Duke, do you also wish to absolve your sins? Uh, Pope Nicholas has issued an order to grant indulgences to any pilgrim to visit uh, Canterbury for the right price. Okay, so 25 feels like a lot, but I got a load of money from somewhere. I can't even remember where now becomes more pious and Seward becomes my friend how is this not exactly the same I think these two are the same oh Eilfgar of Northumbria right who's Eilfgar oh my son I oh, know sod him okay but yeah let's get um let's get Seward on side right he likes me a lot more now that's improved my money again okay we've we finish in Annandale. Right, we got this is terrific. We made a little bit of progress there. Finish pilgrimage, but we've got lots of piety now. Break betrothal. So realistically, this is my heir, isn't it? And he's got, he's the only son I have. We're making 1.6 a turn, so that's a big improvement. And this chap really likes me. Okay, I'm probably going to try and change this chap. So he's going to be my son, There's nothing. he's going to be my heir, there's nothing I can do about it unless he dies, in which case it will become my uh, disloyal daughter who hates me and is married to, to Snake Eye. Oh, right, I'm not bothered about this guy. Yeah. Yeah, he can die. I thought it was my Hakon. My Hakon is, a, is an accoladed knight. No, it's just a wanderer. Okay, clergy opinion, always helpful. Well, I am a Catholic, I mean... I don't think the Pope is going to like me. Yeah, we're quite a long way off getting anything off him, I think. I mean, out of interest, I mean, I'm thinking like 20% to sway him. Yeah, not great, is it? Okay. Dude, I's a lunatic. And he's treacherous. 
I, I'm, I think I'm going to stick with a low risk. It was already quite a risky kind of situation I find myself in. I'm going to add to the risk by having a, a, a lunatic caravan master. Looks like my mercenaries are leaving. They actually left. No, but they're about to. It's good to be home. Okay, Regency ended, which is terrific. Okay, now January 872. So we've got quite a long time to go before we get to, um, before we can go into the stewardship tree. I probably should pay homage to my liege, but I'm going to just hang on a little bit. So I could potentially form the Duchy, but I think it's like 250 that I need. Teviotail and Langlick. Oh, sure. Right, so I've actually been wasting time not bringing those up. If money's my issue, should I consider buying something like farms and fields? Excellent. I'd need an additional 16, but that's going to actually quite significantly improve my income. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to save up for that. Okay, everyone gets naked sometimes, obviously. Uh, the hard part is ensuring that the troop of jugglers enter. I'm just going to... Can I cover? I can't cover her anyway. Yeah, can I? Okay. Okay, so I spend 150 prestige, but I get a strong hook on Ida. There's no way I'm not going to do that. Okay. Invite to court. She will accept. Okay. So this is going to make my intrigue much, much better. But we need her to like me. We've got to have her on permanent sway, really. This is just... It, my queen is, is, is useless. I mean, my son's not much better. Oh, I'm tempted to go for this. So he is actually the duke. This is a way of me becoming a duke, isn't it? Right, let's go to war. I still actually have the um, the mercenaries from earlier. I'm going to have the Isle of Man in a minute. Fingers crossed. Okay, raise all men at arms. Is men enough? enough? Yes. Really want to fight them. Oh. Right, I'm going to win anyway. That's good. It's a slightly bigger army than I expected. All right, we'll... we'll We'll hang in there for you. A little bit of stress does no one any harm. Okay, I think I'm going to raise the rest of my army. He's got 2,000 troops. Okay, raise all. We get a hook. Get a weak hook on him. Excellent. So we don't have long to wait now. Um, so, so January, so just under a year, and we can s start working on getting fabricate hook. Um, I'll be able to use some of these hooks. Okay, so her stewardship's just improved, which is not bad news. Does that mean I can take her off managed domain? It does. Okay, that's really good because I've literally just gained a little bit of diplomacy, martial entry, and learning. That's great news. Ah, right, we're not doing any schemes. <clears throat> that feels wrong. Her in here. This is the enemy. This is I want to be able to take duchies off these people. And let's fabricate hooks on some of the most powerful people in this realm. 90%. Fabricate hook. Core physician. Fabricate hook. Excellent. If I get hooks on those, I can do what I like to health Dan's son. Okay, just got oh, oh right, he's in heritage. Like, he's meant to be giving me more money. Okay, time they increased. Don't think it made any real difference. All right, well, I might do a bit of torture later. What the hell's going on over there? Right, I might be in danger here. Okay. So for 50, I get a hook on who? Oh, on him himself. I already have a hook on him. I get a strong hook. I have a weak hook. That's got to be useful. I can't believe I'm winning this battle. That was very lucky. And poor play on my part. Actually lost more men than them, though. Because my army is not particularly good. Okay, right, it's just formed a very, very big alliance. The thing is, this is a holy war, isn't it? My wife is pregnant. Okay, that's good news. Got some of my money back. Okay, so I should have just gone for the county war. I don't didn't get the didn't get the other title. Is the Isle of Man the best one to hold on to? Oh look, it's it's still I don't want to, I don't want to pay the money to feudalise it. Let's give it to somebody else. Let's see if he can save up the money to uh, to feudalise it, and I'll take it off him then, perhaps. To the impressive Isla. In my work, we've failed to find any secrets. However, truth doesn't have to stop us. Okay, 
Again, strong hook on Octreda. See, he's she's one of his right. See it done. It's going to cost me fifty. But see it done. I think we need to stop this because we can't afford to keep doing this. Get her to support schemes. We can go into the stewardship tree. Right, what 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 money are we on at the moment? Minus one point three. So it's not a very good way of looking at this really. Um, add ten percent. When we're actually making some money, that'll that'll make a difference. It's actually reduced it what 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 we're paying at the moment. Right, okay, so that's okay because I've already got a strong hook on him. Okay. I should really be getting hooks on leaders, but um, I want to get some of my land back down here. Right, here's an opportunity. So he wants me to bring up his son. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Oh, gosh. Elira's grown to like me more, even though she I don't think she's even met me. Disputed heritage. I don't know how I can use that. All right, okay, the fabricate hook, barbaric, but effective. Okay, so I can carry on building influence, but I have to start all over again, or it's an act of tyranny, but I get a strong hook on Spain. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's just do it. What we want is abduct. 85% and we can, we can bring this chap in. Should put us on 100%. It doesn't. So what I want is to abduct him and declare war for the Duchy of Northumbria or Lancaster or York. It's on Northumbria back at the moment. Abduct him immediately. That's the plan. The danger is that 5% fail. Um, and it's only 85%. We probably need it to be better than that. I can't look for secrets in his court anymore. So we just have to hope things improve. Right, who else can we have hooks on? Mercia, he's got a lot of money. 90% fabricate hook. Okay, good. <coughs> so plan is, in a bit of time, we're going to have a lot of money. So I think messenger prison just makes a scheme success chance plus 10%. Oh, no. <coughs> okay, well, at least I'm in not, I can declare war again. I'm not in, in debt. That was the worry there, that I'd do that, there's 30% chance I end up in debt and then I've got to spring the war. Okay, I need the extra 12 months. I've created a hook on him. Getting three a month now, it's a big improvement on what I did have. All right, don't want to lose 50. Stewardship lifestyle. Let's go for that. Stewardship lifestyle gets me a lot nearer to my goal there. I do swear she still hates me. What was I building? Oh, I chose not to build farms. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it would be would have been nice to have had farms, but you know, we we're still we're still in quite a difficult position for investing long term infrastructure like that. Taxes, excellent. Right, so I don't want this thirty three percent chance that the scheme is exposed. I don't want that. Take this chance. It's exposed. I want a better steward, so that's the next thing I'm going to work on once one of these is finished. Oh my word. Right, let's blackmail him. And let's invite him to court. Excellent. So this is a 34. Oh, spy master. Okay, right, but you're off, girl. And we're going to start swaying you instead. Surely. Surely that's going to make these things happen. 90%. Okay, I'm a lot more confident with that. A lot more confident with that. Go on then, Anaira. I'll have you back. Okay. It's going to cost me 20. Key thing is to declare war now for Northumbria and then cross our fingers. Right, I've won. So I have murdered everyone that came after me. I'm earning a much healthier amount of money. And I've got a clear succession, albeit to a fairly poor character. I think the thing for him is get him to choose his own wife after I die. I am, after all, actually, I'm only 50. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, thinking as having a late child with my successor, so at least I can kind of like really like get myself somebody really, really good for the second. Actually, I think I had these as well, didn't I? So I haven't quite regained everything. But I've got my old capital back of Bebenberg. Oh, I should be there, shouldn't I? And in fact, I'm the Duke of Northumberland, aren't I? Might be worth waiting. Hey, well, look, I'll tell you what. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have very, very careful. We rearrange this, this realm on Monday. Uh, we're going to stop there. Um, I do feel as though I got myself through that kind of early game and we're in a position now where we can we can build we can actually start to build towards improving our military improving improving our um, our domain uh, maybe systematically picking off some of these some of these weaker weaker realms maybe even maybe even expanding into Scotland but also starting to think about how I become the king of Scotland because I think that's definitely got to be on my list of things that need to happen. So we're going to stop there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, back on Monday. Take care now. Bye-bye.